Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to the forexboat.com. This is Victor with you here, yet yeah, with another weekly analysis. Today we will be looking at Great British Pound versus Australian Dollar. Before we get started, to remind you, all the information in this video is for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. Let's quickly jump on the previous ideas that we had. It was the last one was euro versus Australian dollar. We predicted that the price will hit our target around this level. It was pretty good trade setup. We reached the target very fast, so that's done. But you can see that it did break lower, which suggests that the downtrend will continue. And this is the reason why GBP Australian dollar comes into play, because there is a little bit more interesting scenario. We will jump on it in just a second. Next one is gold. The gold actually, our prediction is to hit the level of 1667. We're yet to test it. Uh, we were watching for this resistance on the 200 moving average, but it was broken. So the uptrend will continue towards our target, hopefully. Now, the euro Swiss franc, we had an idea to sell around this area, stop loss above this high. This idea is still valid, although at this point there was too much ranging. So there is a new idea. You can consider it as update to the previous one. The idea is to sell around this price uh, and to target this low, this bottom. If we go on the daily, you can see that this is the candle and the price hasn't closed below this low. So this is the reason I'm using it for the target because it seems to be the most reasonable price. And overall, it makes it 0530. And we can expect about 90 pip move towards our target. And at the same time, we would close that initial trade with the profit. The stop loss is just above this high. I would use probably a few pips higher. Uh, but if we go above this high, it will be invalidated it probably means that the euro swiss franc will go to the upside so as an update there is another opportunity uh here because this resistance is holding and seems like a nice setup or update to this trade just so you know so we expect this uh, this level to be reached within a couple of days i think it won't take long well maximum i'd say uh in next week we will be at this price but only if this level is not broken at 1.0645. Now, the, the idea for today is GBP Australian dollar. This is what we have currently. If you remember in, in my previous uh, video, I was talking about this strong correction down. I was expecting it was around here, but price did produce this huge spike. Although we did hold this range and this is good and our exit would be at this candle. Now, the new idea we have is that basically that GBP Australian dollar will move lower towards the 1.0220. It most likely will hit 1.0200, which is psychological level. I guess there will be spikes below. I will just place uh, a line here. But it could be even lower, something like uh, 191.80, but overall, this is the psychological level. If we look at the previous levels here, you can see it's a massive, massive uh, area of demand and supply. It was resistance, then support, then support again. I would expect it to be once again a very strong support and the potential downside target. And it also corresponds to 161.8 FIPS, which is actually applied to the corrective wave up after 200 exponential moving average breakout. You can see it failed to break at this point, but then we did broke below this previously made low and below the moving average. This makes it uh, quite a nice idea uh, for shorting. Now, I would go to the 15 minute chart or probably 30 minutes. And you can see from here that uh, the trend line, okay, uh, the trend line is holding, which is very important. If I draw it like that, you can see here was a rejection, 
price failed to break above the trend line. It rejected the 200 moving average exponential and price went down, although now it's corrected. So this is like a second opportunity to re-enter the short trade. Now, if I go to 15 minutes or one hour, I guess. Okay, now on one hour, yeah. On one hour, we have another setup, which is clean bounce of the simple moving average, extremely good. So the stop loss could be uh, about 50 pips lower, or I mean higher than, the, than here, I will just place it. But our target, our target is very high. It's 92, 1.92, which is approximately 700 pips potential target for this setup. Now, the another thing is that we have a bearish divergence. Here you can see market went up, but yet RCI failed to produce higher high. So this is a very good setup. It seems like market is starting to move down and this is a good entry point. This all area, green area, should be perfect for the shorting. Now, considering that our take profit is 700 pips, we could use probably 100 pips stop loss from the, from the current price. Let's see. Uh, it would be one point. It would be exactly two. Yeah, we had to. We have to use a bit higher. So two hundred. I would use the stop loss at around this level. So it's two hundred pip stop loss versus two hundred uh, seven hundred pip take profit. I think the risk reward is excellent. Is more than three three to one, and this is what I like about this trade. Very good risk reward. And yeah, it seems to be very good. Let's see how it goes. The stop loss is quite close, but I don't think we will go anywhere above this high produced today, especially considering it was at psychological level at 2.00, almost did reach it. Nevertheless, let's see. And till next time, I will update you on this in our next trade idea for the week. So for now, we will stick to to the uh, Great British Pound versus Australian Dollar for the shorting. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, click a like button and subscribe to see our next trade ideas for the next week. Thank you all for watching. Till next time, it was Victor with you from the Forex Boat.